So a huge congratulations on getting your brand new Asus RG Ally X. I've played on my Ally X almost every day for hours over these past five months since getting mine on launch day, and I know you'll have many incredible hours of gaming on yours too. Here are the 14 things to do first on your brand new Ally X to get you up and running, including one that's completely revolutionized how I use mine. So let's dive straight in and the first thing we absolutely should do after unboxing our Ally X is setting it up and optimizing it correctly. The Ally X uses Windows 11, which is absolutely just not designed for handheld gaming PC, with the fact that it comes preloaded with Microsoft Office, making this abundantly clear. What? I've done a whole dedicated video to the 14 essential steps to set up and optimize our Ally X. Link to this and indeed all of the setup guides are mentioned here on the channel in the description below. So very carefully go through each and every step like turning off the very latest Windows updates which can really mess up our Ally X, turning off CPU boost which is an unnecessary drain on the battery and also turning off memory integrity within core isolation to improve performance. The second thing now you're all optimized and set up is getting used to Armory Crate and also Command Center. These are designed by Asus and they take away so much of the pain and frustration that come with using Windows 11. And Asus have done an incredible job over these past 18 months since the original Ally launched way back in June 2023 in updating this with gyro controls on our games, calibrating our joysticks and so much more. It's definitely worth spending some time in organizing the command center buttons here on the right to get them exactly how we like it and the huge 1.5 sum update gave us two game changing updates. The first one is being able to customize our game library just how we want it including the long awaited carousel to give it a much more console like feel. The second is if we select a game then press X or game options then set game profile then configuration we can now set what the operator mode like silent, performance or turbo the game automatically launches into without us having to manually do this each time in command center which is such an underrated game changing feature. The third thing is to consider buying some accessories for your new Ally X. I've just done a recent video showing all the accessories I use with my Ally X every day but the three I would consider absolute must haves is a really solid Ally X case like mine here this 100 watt anchor, power cable and plug to really take advantage of the fast charging on the Ally X and this amazing Bluetooth portable keyboard and trackpad to help navigating around Windows so much easier. At 4 is one of the main reasons I'm sure most of us have got the Ally X which is emulation which means reliving all of our classic childhood gaming memories by playing retro games. Now you can individually install these retro consoles which are called emulators but a much easier and simpler way is using an app called Emudeck that I've covered in this setup guide which is incredible as it does all of the hard work for us. These retro games which in emulation terminology are called ROMs which you may be able to find online and they give us so many happy hours of nostalgia. A long time viewers of the channel know that my absolute favourite retro console is the Super Nintendo. Talking about nostalgia is that at 5 if you ever loved the amazing Guitar Hero and Rock Band games of the 2000s then you absolutely have to install a completely free app called Clone Hero which I did a setup guide on recently where we can actually use our old Guitar Hero or Rock Band plastic instruments like the Rock Band Xbox 360 drums I have here and we can download thousands of songs for free and just have an absolute blast rocking out. Plus if we connect our Ally X to a monitor then playing our instruments in Clone Hero is even better. And if you're a music fan or especially if you have kids then I just cannot recommend this highly enough. My 8 year old Eli just has so much fun on this. At 6 is Switch emulation and being able to play our Switch games in full 1080p Christmas is glorious and the link to my super easy setup guide for this is below. The seventh thing we should do is set up remote play if we have a PS4, PS5 or Xbox series console. And this is super easy to do for Xbox as we simply head into the official Xbox app, click on this icon right here and voila, start remote playing to our Xbox console. The very best way to remote play our PS4 or PS5 console is using an incredible free app called Chiaki which only takes a few minutes to set up and configure that I covered in my setup tutorial below and when we're up and running remote playing from our PS4 or PS5 is living the dream. It actually has better streaming quality and less latency than even the PlayStation Portal which is insane. 
at 8 is trying out Xbox Game Pass on the Ally X, which really is the closest we'll ever get to a Netflix of gaming. We can cloud stream these if you want to, but for the very best experience, the Ally X offers a feature that the Maze and Steam Deck cannot, which is the ability to install any of these games natively onto the device, which is absolutely the best way to experience any of these fantastic Game Pass games. Plus in a few weeks at the time of recording, we'll be getting the brand new Call of Duty and also the highly anticipated Flight Simulator 2024, with Indiana Jones coming later this year. Talking about game platforms, at 9 it really is worth logging in and getting set up on our third party launchers like EA Play and also the Ubisoft Connect app. I really recommend the Ubisoft Plus subscription which is £15 and dollars a month. We get the biggest releases day one like Star Wars Outlaws, Prince of Persia and Assassin's Creed and I really have been enjoying Outlaws these past few weeks but really glad I didn't pay the full £50 or dollars for it. On the subject of big AAA games, at 10 I'd highly recommend downloading an amazing app called Lossless Scaling that I've done a full setup and walkthrough guide of linked below, as this app allows us to increase our resolution and also double, triple or even quadruple our FPS with the click of a button. And it is definitely worth giving a try to get the most from our most demanding games like Star Wars Outlaws. At 11 is the fact that the speakers on the Ally X are a little on the quiet side. I managed to find out why, so if you do want your speakers on your Ally X to be a bit louder, then check out this recent walkthrough fix guide vid on this. We're in our final three now, and at 12 is that if you play a lot of AAA games, or for a reason I'll share in just a moment, then upgrading the internal SSD storage from the included 1TB to even 2 or even 4TB as I've done is highly recommended. Now I am the worst at DIY, even being really honest, I was very apprehensive and nervous to do this, but it really was so much easier than I thought. I can now simply pop this new SSD into future RG allies I'll get over the next 5-10 to 10 years, and my super easy walkthrough guide to do this is in my Bazite setup guide, link below. At 13, and the reason why I upgraded my SSD is to install an incredible program called Bazite, which enables us to dual boot Steam OS and also Windows, and this really has revolutionized how I use my Ally X. And this is because we get the best of both worlds. So with Windows, we get native Game Pass and also third party launchers. Then at any point, we simply restart our Ally X and bang, we now have all of the advantages of Steam OS like even more of a console feel in the game library and just essential for me as a busy dad is true mid-game sleep and resume functionality. This is just an absolute killer feature. I was very cynical about installing Bazite, but honestly, you absolutely need to give this a go and my easy setup guide is linked below. And finally, at 14 is just to explore and have fun with your Ally X. PC handheld gaming, especially using Windows, and also especially if you're new to all of this coming from a console, can be a little bit daunting and intimidating, but just take your time, don't get stressed with any aspects of this, and just enjoy the process. I'd love to hear the first things that you're enjoying the most about your new Ally X, and if you've had your Ally X for a while, then what tips would you offer to brand new purchases of the handheld? Let us know in the comments. As always, hit like if you found this helpful, get subscribed so you don't miss out on any of this Ally X content, and as I thank you for watching this far, I'd love to share this awesome quote. One of the best lessons we can learn in life is to master how to remain calm. Man, life can get super stressful sometimes, so learning effective techniques to de-stress and avoiding these things that trigger stress in the first place are so important, so stay encouraged today guys. As I say, all links to the setup guides and tutorials are below in the description and click here for the amazing Clone Hero setup guide. I appreciate every single one of you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.